Hello and welcome back to our channel where we explore various topics related to finance and investing. In this video, we will be discussing the concept of dilution in the stock market, what it means and how it can impact your investments. What is dilution? Dilution is a term used to describe the decrease in the value of an existing shareholder's ownership stake in a company due to the issuance of new shares. This can happen when a company decides to raise capital by selling new shares of stock to investors. The new shares dilute the ownership percentage of existing shareholders as the total number of outstanding shares increases. Impact on shareholder value. Dilution can have a significant impact on the value of existing shares. For example, let's say a company has 1 million outstanding shares and you own 10,000 shares or 1% of the company. If the company decides to issue an additional 100,000 shares, the total outstanding shares increase to 1.1 million. Your ownership stake in the company has now decreased to 0.9%. Even if the company's overall value remains the same, this can be a concern for long-term investors as dilution can reduce the value of their investment and potentially lower their returns. Types of dilution. There are two main types of dilution, primary dilution and secondary dilution. Primary dilution occurs when a company issues new shares to raise capital. This type of dilution can occur through initial public offerings or follow-on offerings where a company raises additional capital after going public. Secondary dilution happens when existing shareholders sell their shares to other investors. This can occur when insiders, such as company executives or early investors, sell their shares or when large institutional investors sell their holdings. While dilution can be a concern for investors, there are several ways to mitigate its impact on your portfolio. One approach is to avoid companies that frequently issue new shares. You can also consider investing in companies with strong earnings and revenue growth, as they may be less likely to need to raise capital through share issuances. Another approach is to participate in the new share issuance, which can help maintain your ownership percentage in the company. This can be done by purchasing additional shares in the offering or by using preemptive rights, which give existing shareholders the opportunity to purchase new shares before they are offered to the public. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on investing and finance.